chosen one, I'm greatness Flew up a billion flight of stairs just to touch this dream Laid in an effed up place before I'm comfortable to be called something positive So used to being called something negative for over three, four years You uncomfortable about being called something positive, crazy So that's where kings and queens come in He calls me queen without even knowing my story. My lines of poetry, I don't believe he has read a word. I am under the assumption that he has, but he must think it's fiction. Cause why would he use my name and queen in the same sentence? Tears fall from my eyes. I am ashamed to think that I myself don't see myself this way, but a total stranger has deemed me the highest a woman could be a queen. So I wonder, does he really know my story? If he could see my scars, my battle wounds, if my fear and pain had a taste and a smell that was thick and overbearing, and somehow he was able to taste and smell it, would he still look at me and call me a queen? Or would he simply look at me as a woman who has been scarred to the point of no repair? See, because every time he calls me queen, it is if God is whispering in my ear, you are stronger than your biggest fear. And no amount of pain, hurt, or shame can steal away the beauty I have already placed inside of you. See, every time he calls me queen, it is as if I am given a second lifeline, another shot to become closer to what that beautiful word queen means. So when I am in my darkest moments, I imagine what his voice sounds like calling me queen, and I am brought back. For that moment, I see myself in my creator's eyes, and I think to myself, Giving up is no longer an option because somewhere out there is a scarred king looking for his queen to remind him that he. This is dedicated to anybody who has a dream, a purpose. Hold on to it. You That cut into my wrist deep. I see you crying. I know I'm hurting you. My own pain outweighs everything. I'm fighting demons that been hanging around since I was six. Fighting pain that been hurting since they split. Fighting hate that comes when I met my lowest. Wanna love back who abused me. How sick. Then I remember I've got you. Never too far away. Just waiting for me to come around again. Pour every emotion into you. Feels like you're healing me. For every word I spit, every time my voice rises, it's just enough for angels to hear me using my gift. I ain't ready to die yet. I get that good, stronger this time. You bring life into me, bring me back to life. F dying, I swear, I wanna live just to ride this out. See how far you gon' take us. I'm holding on this go round. No fear will separate us, no demons will kill us. No weapon fold against us shall prosper. Shall prosper against me. I hold on, take me. I'm holding on, y'all. Right right. Excuse me for having my third eye open. They tried to tell me the streets were the only way. Being a queen was a title assigned by the color of your skin and. I didn't fit the description. Ugly, 
I was made to believe were full lips, hip shaped like love, skin like the night sky that actually lit up like it owned its own set of stars somewhere in its melon. If you hadn't been brainwashed by the misconception of what beauty is, you could actually see it. But me, I was made to believe I was only meant to amuse men for moments at a time. Made to believe that my worth was in between my legs and all I had to do to be accepted was have one of those pretty light-skinned babies with long hair, light eyes, by a man who would never claim me but would show up to take what he thought was his, then hurry back to a woman who fit the description of what a queen is dark I was told was ugly and the only man who loved me is a white man who, with long hair he loved me so much that he died for me so see you can't get mad when I don't trust the man who looks just like me I am told he is either a pimp a drug dealer drug user woman abuser false teacher or all of the above in no way is he a king and he could never be God so what am I left with a prayer that my savior will rescue me a bible filled with scriptures to help ease the pain of not having a man to help me raise my babies a television that says i'm worthless music that says i fit the description of a hoe even if i don't carry myself that way i fit the description of a hoe not a queen my subconscious on life support, holding on to all these lies, all these misconceptions, my soul was rejecting it. So instead of trying to ease it with pain, with alcohol and liquor, they say eases all pain. I decided to rip the band-aid off, peel back the scab, get to digging. So excuse me for having my third eye open, but I've begun to peep game. While my sisters think scandal. Being Mary Jane, loving hip hop is a dream come true. I'm starting to see it's just another way to keep my subconscious or life support. Believing a white man is the prize and you're not worthy of being married to. And the men you do have are nothing more than deadbeat fathers, robbers. Excuse me for having my third eye open. Get him. I see slavery has never really ended with more black men in prison than they have had on any of those plantations. But for some reason, the scoreboard is telling us we are winning. A black president, a beat maker, a billionaire, a dark skinned girl considered beautiful. Woohoo! But take a look around you. Look at the communities you live in. Look at your neighbors, not with your shades on, your blinders. Turn off the television. That is not your scoreboard. Try using that eye they clogged up with all their bullshit. Then tell me, who is really winning? Allah have mercy on me, protect me from my enemies, guard me from what I cannot see, protect this gift you bless me with, shield me from evil, Allah have mercy on me. Got a fist full of hate, I try not to demonstrate, seems like since I decided to be dedicated to this gift in God's name, got everything chasing me, the game I left, emotionally tied to this money, trying not to